Pawtucket Animal Shelter and we're going to find out a little bit more about what they do here. As I said, I've been doing it about 14 years, and one of the things that I really like about it is uh, that it's something different happening every time. I go out on the road; I never what I, you know, I never know what I'm going to, you know, find, and uh, uh, it's, it makes it very interesting. And I, I get the b best of both worlds because I get to deal with dogs and cats and animals that I that I like, and also with people. So it's uh, it's a great job, and uh, I really enjoy it. One thing that we really, uh, you know, push in the city is spaying and neutering. You do like humane education. Exactly. Spay, you know, spaying and neutering is very, very important because, and here's an example right here, if you have a unspayed uh, cat out there running around, she'll have litter after litter after litter of kittens. And it's... Uh, and then they'll have litter after litter. Exactly. We decided to talk to some people about their experiences with their pets. My name is Gina Warzak. I own Pet Gear by Gina and I manufacture everything that you see on the table and behind me. Uh, I started the business because my dog got out and gave me some puppies by accident and I kept two of them and it was least expensive for me to make them than to buy them. That way I got what I wanted. Well. Uh, we've had pets for almost as, as long as I've been around. Uh, we presently have four dogs. This is Jack, our largest and uh, oldest. He's five. He's a, a, a piebald Great Dane. And he's a great dog. A great time raising my puppy. I'm not saying at all it was easy. In the beginning, it was quite, you know, difficult because I hadn't had a puppy in like 15 years. So, um, but now it's all worth it because she's turned into a, you know, well-trained, well-behaved, fabulous little dog.